So it's uh, Wednesday the 9th of February, time for physics fun. We've had something really exciting that we've been looking at today in uh, AT Physics at Colonel Frank Seeley School. Um, we're looking at Brownian motion and uh, what you're actually doing now is looking down a microscope and we took a simple um, glass vial. We added smoke by using uh, a lighted splint and a washer bottle and we got some smoke and we puffed it into the cuvette, the glass uh, vial. We took some Vaseline and we put a little bit of Vaseline around the top of the cuvette and we added a microscope slide. I'm now looking uh, with a microscope um, down through the lens and what you can see, those tiny white dots are particles of smoke and they've been buffeted about randomly by air molecules. Now of course we can't see air molecules so what we can do though is look at their effects and all the time these air molecules that we take for granted are pushing us. They have pressure on our skin so all the time on planet earth we're living with a pressure on our skin that we don't notice because it's there all the time and we've got used to that pressure but we can't see it because the molecules they're effectively transparent they're too small but we can see the effects of their velocities or motion and what we're seeing there hopefully is a randomness there's no overall particle that's moving one direction or another every particle there is just moving about and it's just a tiny piece of a piece of wood it's been burnt and broken off, so it's much, much, much larger than those gas molecules. So say when an oxygen or carbon dioxide molecule has hit one of those smoke molecules, it must be travelling really, really fast because it's so much smaller that it must have a lot of momentum, effectively, to move that smoke particle. And so you can see it clearly, can't you? See it clearly there. Now let's see, if I adjust my focus on the microscope, go one way or the other, I'm hoping if I take us out, we potentially can see my Vaseline layer, but I don't think we can. So there we are. We'll come back in again. And actually, it's a really hard one. And if you're doing this in class, you'll find it really hard to find the right place. And the best way is you go to where the microscope slide is and then you go deeper because you're looking inside that vial. So it's something where biology students can do quite well and I can go further down or I can come back again and we can still see those white dots. It's just smoke being buffeted about. So Colonel Frank Seeley School, A2 Physics.